Guys, this is the start of our module 4, Quantitative Techniques on Research Writing. Quantitative Research Technique Quantitative research usually prepared and finished based on the result of the questionnaire prepared by researcher and answered by respondents. Results will vary depending on the statistical tools and measurements. You cannot predict the result unless the data gathered are computed and analyzed by your statistician. As a student researcher, a health premier advisor, premier technical, and premier stat will be needed for you to survive. So your advisor will be the one who help you to create a more logical title and uh, she will be the one who will guide you on your journey to finish your research paper on time. While your technical uh, will help you to correct any unforeseen correction that you and your advisor cannot immediately detail for correction. Your stat will help you to prepare the statistical result and the possibility of the result you need in your research. So you also need to have an English critic who will help you with your thoughts and grammar to create a more viable, reliable, and coherent research paper. So on your paper, uh, you can use a mixed method. Uh, when we say mixed, uh, it means you are both using a quantity and quality research method. So here, uh, when, when we are using a quantity design, we're going to use statistical tools based on your questionnaire and a financial, financial analysis based on your financial statement. While uh, using quality means uh, you need to observe and you need to interview in order to create a quality design method. According to Creswell 2014, Frankel 2011, quality research, uh, it is an approach for testing research theories by examining relationship among variables. So when you say this variable can be measured typically on instrument so that number data can be analyzed using using a statistical procedure. So having an assumptions uh, about testing theories, deductively building in protection against bias, and controlling for alternative explanation, and being able to ge generalize and replicate findings. According to Creswell 2014, NACMIAS and NACMIAS 1996, a quantity research is predetermined. So instrument base question, performance data, attitude data, observational data, and census data. You also need to use an statistical analysis and statistical interpretation. Alternative research design under quantity by Creswell 2014. So we have experimental research. It seeks to determine if a specific treatment influences an outcome. And number two is a non-experimental research. So, when we say non-experimental, we are going to use a survey uh, wherein a quantitative or numeric description of trends, attitude, or opinions of a population by studying a sample of that population. And then we have associational research. It is a correlation and causal comparative. The relationship among two or more variables are studied without any attempts to influence them. We also have analysis. Uh, which is divided into univariate analysis and bivariate analysis. So when we say univariate analysis, it is a descriptive a statistic or measure of central tendency, meaning to say we have the mean, median, mode, and the measure of dispersion, we are going to use here range, variance, and standard deviation. When we say bivariate, meaning to, uh, we are go, uh, example of this are person product, moment correlation, experiments rank, SLR, etc. And then uh, it can be, uh, when we say bivariate, it can be a multivariate analysis or MLR, discriminant analysis or path analysis. It can also be a analysis of variance or ANOVA and it can be an inferential statistics. So, Let's start with the preparation of research paper. So the composition of your research paper will have, first one, you need to prepare your title. Number two, the approved document signed by advisor, technical critic, department chairperson, campus research coordinator, and campus administrator. So biographical data, 
and acknowledgement. Number four is abstract. Number six is table of contents. Number seven is introduction. Number eight is review of related literature. Number nine is methodology. Number ten is the result and discussion. Number 11 is the preparation of the summary, conclusion, and recommendation. Number 12 is references. And number 13 is appendices. Okay, so in your table of contents, uh, the content or the composition of the table of contents should be the following. So you need to have your biographical data, acknowledgement, abstract, list of tables, list of figures, list of appendices, and then after that, the introduction, the review of related lit, the methodology, the result and discussion, the summary and conclusion, summary conclusion and recommendation, references and appendices. On the introduction, usually introduction composed of the following. So it should have a, a statement of the problem, objectives of the study, significance of the study, the time and place of the study, the definition of terms, and the conceptual framework. On the statement of the problem, usually it should start with a question mark. It Usually it starts with a question what. So some of the questions are more on profile of the respondent, profile of the business, etc. So you also need to ask, what on the effect, impact, effectiveness, factors, etc. So here are the sample question on the SOP. You need to ask uh, or asking on the level of depending on the title that you have. So you, you need to ask or asking on the significant re relationship or significant difference of Blank that usually depends on what you want to achieve or know in the future or after the result of your research paper. Objectives of the study, uh, usually it is in the form of a narrative SOP. So instead of a questionnaire, it is in the form of narrative statement. On the significance of the study, usually it tackles who will be the beneficial to this study. So example to the university to the employees to the student to the future researchers etc so those who can benefit this research so time and place of the study so it discuss when and where it took place so under definition of terms as much as possible your own version of definition must be written here in your research paper Conceptual framework. So we have two kinds of conceptual framework. We have the IPO or EPO, input process output method, and also we have dependent and independent method. Under review of related literature, usually RL composed of the following, a foreign lit and a local lit. So when preparing RL, you need not to write a foreign or local on the paper. So instead, you need to segregate and put all the foreign lit first before the local literature. So RL should be properly presented by means of acknowledging the author, the name of the book, or its article. So it should be presented by recent to previous year. So all foreign lit first, then local lit literature. So a good research paper must have related literature comes from books, articles, journal, and some web page applicable to the study you want to research. Do not prepare a research paper with almost 100% comes from website. It is not viable and reliable. So instead, you take your time to research, go to libraries, municipal libraries, national libraries, or any other institution that will give and make sense of your related literature. You need to do this. So from the previous title that we already made, prepare chapters 1 and 2 that will suffice your needs on the research title that I already approved. That's the end of module 4 and please do not forget to finish your chapters 1 to 2 and it should be submitted. Please check your messenger for the submission period.